like to change myself. I designed something in Adobe XD and I'm gonna try to reproduce in Webflow in less than 30 meters. It's a good exercise on Webflow because we're gonna play with flexbox, sticky position, relative and absolute position, plus animation widescreen of you. So in 30 minutes, we're gonna see a lot of things. So let's go. Before jumping to Webflow, we're gonna see how we're gonna structure the website and our build in Webflow. To arrive to this point of a main section with the content and after you scroll and you have different section with different pictures we're gonna structure our build in two steps first we're gonna build the content so we're gonna have five sections one two three four five and in this five, five section we're just gonna add the content and here an empty section and after the content of event, philanthropy and shop. And the three last section we will wrap to create a trigger event and have the possibility to change the images. So this will be the first step, build the content. The second step will be to create this wrapper, a fixed element, we're gonna wrap all the images. And what we're gonna say after it's when you're, we're gonna create a scroll animation on this fixed element and we're gonna say when you arrive to this second section start to scale down and that's it and after this animation mix with this animation here to change the images we will arrive to what we want to do so let's jump into workflow so first what we're gonna do is to create a section section 100 percent 100 vh we take 100% height of every screen. Once it's done, I had another class called container. If you didn't check the video of Mail about our column system, uh, let you check because it's what I'm gonna use now. So I'm gonna create a container that I already set up before. And inside I'm gonna have a row. And inside a core. And let me see the grid. If I check the grid on my first section, I can see that the content here is center and take four colon. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, one, two, three, four. <laughs> so I just gonna give the class of call four to my element. And I'm gonna add a div block call hero wrapper content. And I'm gonna say to this to take 100% and center, center. Align center, justify center, like that. Inside, I had my colon. And now you can see that my colon here is centered. So now inside my colon, I'm gonna add a class called hero. parent content so this I'm gonna say that the width it's take 100% and the high 100 bh so now we are good and after what I'm gonna do it's super easy it just add my content so first it's a heading so let me give it let me add the, the real name. By the way, this H2, it's center. After we have a paragraph here. So I'm gonna add the paragraph. All right, so now I have my paragraph and I need to set my paragraph at the center. And after I just add this sentence. So I'm gonna add my heading, it's a H3, H3 center, I have my heading. And now I just need to say to my hero parent in vertical and justify space between. And that's it. This is set up. My first section is set up. So now what I'm gonna do, it's pretty easy. I go to my section, I'm gonna add a class is one. I'm gonna duplicate, and now you can see I have two sections. 
So I'm just gonna take off the class is one and I'm gonna call is two. And actually, I just gonna take off the content inside like that. My second section is good. Now we're gonna build the third section. And for this, it's pretty easy because what I'm gonna do is duplicate my first section. So we have the first section, the second empty, and the third. And just I'm gonna give a class is three. And inside I have my container, I have my row, and now I just need to add a call. So for this it's pretty easy because we have one, two, three. I mean actually, you know, let's take the longer name. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven column here, because we do the name are going till there, and we have four column in one side so what i'm gonna do is create a call seven i'm gonna duplicate the class and add a call four like that i have a call four and a call seven and i'm gonna wrap these two call in one class called categories wrapper categories content wrapper that's it. To this one, I give a give width of 100%, high auto. Inside, I add my column. So my call 7 and my call 4. And justify space between. Like that, I have my call 7 here. And you can see that I have my call 4 here. And inside, i just going to grab the content. So first, on the first one, it's a heading. So. The first one it's event and inside my column a paragraph so I just add my paragraph and here I'm gonna add the class P just uh, P left for justify left and and that's it we have our section build but on this section is three. I need to say that it's horizontal but aligned at the bottom. So like that. Now I just duplicate one, two, three, and I have the three other section. So I just gonna add change the name for it be more clear. So we have philanthropy. Philanthropy and I can see that philanthropy doesn't fit to my call. So just I think I just need to change that Yes, like that My h1 fit in my column and respect my design Philanthropy and here it's shop So that's it. We have the first Our first part is done. We have the content a section empty and after our three categories. So this is Brill, and which is great. It's let me back here. This is super responsive. So that's why I build with this column system. It doesn't matter the screen size. It respects my uh, hierarchy in terms of typography, and this is cool for for designer. <laughs> so first part of the job is done. What we're gonna do is wrap all our section in one main wrapper. So I'm just gonna call main, give a width of 100% and a high automatic. And inside, I'm just gonna grab all my section. And to this main section, I'm just gonna give a relative position of two because it will be important for the for the rest. Now let, let's build this fixed wrapper with the four images. So for this, I mean, it's pretty easy. You just add a wrapper called hero fix. We're gonna take 100%, 100 VH, and it's gonna be fixed 
at Zen index one, like that. Our main have a Zen index of two and the hero fix have a Zen index of one. Like that, we are sure that the image will be behind the, the content. And this is super important. Let's just click on overflow hidden because it will be important after. I mean, I'm just I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hide for a moment for we see what's what is going on. And also maybe for it be more uh, understandable, I'm just gonna give a border red with with some pixel like that. You can, we can see that we have our fix element. So now inside I can have my images. So first, I'm gonna add the main image. So for this, I'm just gonna call main image and give it a width of 100%. I add high of 100% and adding cover like that. It doesn't matter the screen size and width, it will fit, the content will fit. I mean, the image will fit and will need not be deformed. So this is super important. So to this one, I'm just gonna give a relative position of five. And now I'm gonna do the same for every image. So actually, I'm just gonna change the class of main images and just call image. And like that, the second one, I'm gonna give a class of image here because like that you take 100%, 100%, cover, relative and the first image, let me back in my content, will be this image, so let me grab and what we're gonna do, it's on our class image, we're gonna take up the Zen index and I'm just gonna add a class of is1 and to the first one add a z index of 5. Like that, I'm gonna add a class of is true on my second image and give us an index of 4. Actually, I'm stupid because I need to be in absolute. Yeah. So let me do again and do the change on image. Image and it's absolute. Full width and full height. And let me back like that we have up image one, the one we actually see, we have a Zen index of five in absolute, and image two, we have a Zen index of four, and within absolute also, but we don't see because it's behind the main image. And for example, I give a Zen index, Zen index of six, and now we can see. So let me duplicate this action. One, two. So I'm gonna give a class of is three. Zen index of three. I change the image. And it will be in second this one. And that's it. And one last time. I'm giving it is four. And to this one, we're gonna give, because we have Zen index of five, Zen index of four, three, and so this one, Zen index of two. And we change the image. Like that, if you can see it, just for, for show you, I, I'm gonna delete. You see, all my image, all my images are here. So that's it. What I'm gonna do is above all this image, I'm just gonna add a mask. So for this, I'm gonna add a mask of 100% width, 100% high to fit to the parent, and give a, an absolute position of 6. And for we see what's going on, let's give a, a background black but with an opacity, let's say 40, yeah, 40. 
and now you can see that for the first section it's more easy to read. So now our two elements are built. I mean our two part of the construction is done. We build the first five section here and after we we build our um, fixed wrapper. We're gonna wrap all the four images. So now let me take off this ugly border. It's better. <laughs> Now let's do the first action that when we start to scroll on this second section this image I mean actually it's not the image but it's the whole wrapper I'm gonna reduce so let's do it so for this I'm gonna go in my section 2 and give an animation while scrolling the view on the class section is 2 Create this move the animation and I'm gonna call fix wrapper scale. And for that I'm gonna select the hero fix and give it an animation of scale. Let's grab right, let's take let's take off this and say okay at the initial state, so when at the beginning, so let me back in my design. At the beginning of my section, the hero will be at a scale of 1. And let's duplicate and see, for example, at 20%. And at 20%, will be cool to have something yeah, like this, I think. What well, finally it's too what it will be cool it's maybe to do something like this yeah yeah finally at zero percent you have the original size and at one hundred percent at so at the end of the second section you have the final scale so let me Let's do again. That's it. That's pretty cool. So it's in real life. That's it. Pretty cool. So now let me explain you what's gonna be the goal on scroll. Because now it's cool when we scroll the image. Um, the scale of the image reduce but now I want that when I'm on events the image change and when I'm on philanthropy the image also change and when I'm in shop the image change too so what we're gonna do for this we're gonna do an effect like this clack 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 so not complicated it's just a, a, an animation of movement but the point is we need to say and that's why we divide in few sections because we're gonna say when you start to enter in event you're gonna change the we're gonna move the first image to make appear the second one and when you let me try to zoom for me it's better when you enter in the second section you're gonna make disappear the second one to let appear the, the third one and when you are on the fourth you're gonna make this appear the, the third one to let appear the fourth one so can be can be complicated like this but it's not so complicated so what i was thinking is to wrap to create a, a wrapper to have a trigger element but finally i find a simpler uh, way to animate so let's jump directly into it so what I'm gonna do is to create an animation on my section 3 and for that I'm gonna, I'm gonna create a scroll animation on the class section 3 play scroll animation and I'm gonna call section 3 scroll image not super name but it's just for a demo and what I'm gonna do it's on this animation I'm gonna grab the second image and 
I'm gonna give an animation of move. And for that, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna talk in percent. So let me show you. The initial state is 0%. And the final state will be minus 100%. So let me save and just hide the first one for we understand. So let me back in the section three. So now that I hide my first image, let me back here and show you. You see? Actually, is the image number one we need to disappear. So actually, now I can show again. So let me show again and come back to my section three and my animation. And now we have the first image with at a position of zero percent. And after I'm saying that it's gonna move of 100%. Why minus 100%? Like that is taking, is going at, at the top. I'm sure that it will be on the top. Let me show you if I do like this. You can see, now it's going at 10%, 20, 30, 40, 50. And when I'm 100%, I'm sure that it's out of, the, of my view. So let me check, let me see again, and you, you see event. So what, what I can do, it's maybe at 60%, like that. When, I'm, when I start to see event, I already have the picture of event that is on the view. So let's see what's up in real life so in real life is working but there is an overflow item that need to be on the hero fix and now you can see and you can see that now is working i start to scroll and have event that's perfect. And now what we're gonna do, it's pretty easy. It's to apply the same effect on the four. Wait, and this one, five, sorry. And what we're gonna do, it's pretty easy because we're just gonna duplicate the animation. So we're gonna create an animation on the section four a place scroll animation and just duplicate scroll section three and we're gonna call it scroll section four and instead of move the image one i'm gonna change the change the target and move image two and same again here i'm just gonna create an animation while scrolling the view on section five place scroll animation and duplicate Call section five, change the target to image three. And now if I play, it's working. It's working, but what I don't like, okay, now it's cool. It's changing, we see the event, but the event disappear too fast. The picture of event disappear really too fast. To do it's fix my scroll image. And maybe do something 30, 60. Let's try 36T and let 
me back in this one. Thirty sixty. Now let's try. Okay, event appear. Perfect. Philanthropy and the shop. And what we gonna do? It's uh, duplicate the empty section, the second one. That's why I select the second one. I duplicate. So now it's here, and I will add at the end like that. And I'm gonna call section is six. And that's it. Our animation is working well. And it's perfect. Of course, you can play and uh, for example, make disappear the final image when it finished to scroll. We can do this later. But yeah, something will can look pretty complicated. It's finally pretty easy when you when you do in few steps. It's like a retro engineering. So that's super that's super important. Like that you understand the way it builds and it doesn't look so impressive. I hope you liked the video. The goal was to show that in less than 30 minutes we can do a lot of things on the Webflow, playing with animation, while scoring the view, understand sticky position, relative position, absolute position, play a little bit with the flexbox. So let me know in comment if you want another challenge like this and it will be the subject of the next video. See you on the next video. Bye.